Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you are doing well. So let's see today's problem. Stock buy and sell, multiple transactions allowed. Okay. So what the problem is saying is we, we will be given the cost of a stock on each day. Okay. In an array price. Each day you may decide to either buy or sell the stock at price I. You can even buy and sell the stock on the same day. Okay. We want to find the maximum profit that you can get. Okay. A uh, stock can also can only be sold if it has been brought previously and multiple stocks cannot be held on any given day. Okay. So what the problem is trying to tell us is we'll be given an array. Okay. And each element represents the cost of a particular of one particular stock. Okay. So for example, day zero, the cost, the cost of the stock is 100. Day one, the cost of the stock is 180. Day two, the cost of the stock is of the same stock is 260. Okay. And so on. Okay. Now, what the problem is saying is you can, you can buy or sell the stock, sorry, buy and sell the stock multiple times. Okay. Multiple times. Okay. Okay. And in that we want to achieve the maximum profit. Okay. Now, for example, le let's say when can we, uh, let's see, when can we have profit when the, so this is day zero and this is day one, right? So when the next day, next day profit is like when when the stock price like for example if you buy on this day and sell on this day right on the next day then only we'll see profit right that is we bought on 100 and we sold on 180 so we have a profit of 80 rupees right or 80, 80 any any 80 unit right for example if you buy on this day right and sell on this day will we have any profit no we'll be having loss right because the stock price is reduced okay 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 now so let's see uh, how can we solve this problem? Okay. So here, what you can do is for example, here, for example, uh, let's see. Uh, so here the output is what? 865. So how did the output come? So how did the output come here? So the output, like it was like we, uh, the, we bought the stock on this particular day, right? And we sold the stock on this particular day. So what was the profit here? 80, right? We again bought the stock right we can what what it is saying you can buy and sell the stock on the same day so we are selling the stock and also buying the stock again on the same day okay on this particular day so we are buying the stock and we are selling on the next day so what is what is the profit here again 260 minus 80 we got a profit again 80 so we bought the stock again on the same day and sold the stock again on, on the next day so what is the profit here it was 50 right and then we cannot we won't buy here because next day it is loss okay and then we buy the stock here, right? And sell here. So 535 minus uh, 40, it will give, it will give how much? 490, right? 490, right? And again, we buy the stock here and sell the stock here, right? So what was the profit here? 60, right? 60. So if you take the addition of this, it will come 865. Okay. And that's the output. Okay. Okay. So, so I think now you got the problem, right? I think you got the problem now. So let's see how can we solve this problem now. Okay. Now what we can do is let's take an example, a simple example. Let's say there was uh, the stock for there was a particular stock and the cost of the stock, the costs of the stock was in this manner. Okay. So day zero, it was one day one, it was five and day two, it was hundred. Okay. Now let's say, let's say we buy the stock. We buy the stock on this particular day. Okay. And sell directly on the, on the last day. So what was the profit here? 100 minus 1 equal to 99. Sorry, 99. Right? 100 minus 1 equal to 99. Okay. Now let's see another approach. What we did was we took the lowest and we took the maximum. Right? We took the lowest and we took the highest and then we deducted that. Right? Okay. Now let's see the second approach. This was the first approach. Let's see the second approach. If you buy the stock here and sell the stock here. So what will be the profit here? 5 minus 1, 4, right? And again, if you buy the stock here and sell the stock here, what will be the profit? 100 minus 5, right? 100 minus 5, which gives us 95. Now, if you add this 4 plus 95, what we got as output? It is 99, right? It is 99. So if you see here in both the approaches, it, the, the profit, the maximum profit is the same, is the same. So what we can deduce from this, Okay, what we can deduce from this, we can say that if there is, if there is um, um, uh, 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 the cost, if it is lowest and uh, the, 
and the cost varies it is highest right so how many how much ever calculations you do like in, in in between all the elements will be lesser right so if you do how much ever calculations the final output the final uh, profit it is going to be the same the final output it is going to be the same that's what i'm saying right that's what i'm saying for example if you take any 3 4 and 100 right again if you take this lowest and max maximum the difference it will give us 99 and if you do like this also right at each step it is going to give the same 99 okay now now let's take another example right let's take another example let's say there is a profit of for example um 13 sorry let's take this 1 5 3 and 100 let's take this example okay let's take this example so there's a there's a stock whose prices are such okay whose prices are such now 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 for example let's start let's start here we bought the stock here and we sold the stock here right we bought the stock here and sold the stock here so 5 minus 1 it is going to give us what 4 right we won't buy the stock here because the next day it is uh, the stock the stock price is less so we'll buy the stock here and sell the stock here right so it is going to give us what 100 minus 3 which will be what 100 minus 3 which will be 90 97 right 97 so which gives us what 4 plus 97 equal to 101 101 right 101 as opposed to let's say the the first approach wherein we buy the stock here and sell the stock here what would what, what would have been the output what would have been the output 100 minus 1 which will give us 99 but if we go by this route the second approach that is uh, sell the stock immediately on the next day right buy the stock here sell the stock here our profit was 101 101 which is more right which is more so what approach we should follow the second approach right wherein we buy the stock here right we buy the stock here and sell the stock here right i mean immediately on the next day when we when we get the profit we book the profit that is we sell the stock so in that way you are going to receive the maximum profit we have seen this example right we are getting 101 and here we are getting 99 only right so selling the stock immediately when we get the profit is the right approach to solve this problem okay i hope you've got the intuition now and i'll just request you if you understood the intuition i'll just request you to please please subscribe to the channel and like the video okay so with code you'll understand better okay with code you'll understand better so let's code first i'll show the java code followed by c plus plus again c plus plus code is not much won't be different much different okay so let's say max profit we take a variable here right and then what are we going to do int i equal to one i less than i less than prices dot length right or maybe what we can do is let's say we can take zero as well we can start from zero as well also and we'll go till price dot length minus one why we're we going we'll I'll, I'll just explain this so we're going to check here if prices on the current day if the if the stock price of the current day right if it is lesser than the next day's price right then the next day's price right in that case, what are we going to do? So we have found the profit, right? We have found some profit here, right? So we are going to add here according to the approach number two, right? Approach number two. So prices of I, the next day's price minus current day's price, we are going to, that will be a profit and we are going to add in the maximum profit. Okay, we are going to add in the maximum profit. And return, finally, return max profit. This is it. I hope you have got the solution. Let me compile this. Also, if you see the time complexity, it is O of N because we are iterating the complete array and space complexity is uh, O of 1, right? We have not taken any extra space, okay? So the test case are being processed. So thanks for watching. Please, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's quickly see the C++ code, not much difference. I'll attach the code in the comment section. Here only the difference is prices dot size. There it was prices dot length. Okay, so let us the code. Okay, I hope you have got the solution. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Have a happy, healthy and a great day. Thank you so much.